Hello, my name is Alicia Baker and I work for Roland Corporation. In this video, we're going to learn how to update the FR8X to the newest system program version 2.0. The first thing we need to do is check the version of your FR8X accordion. To do this, all you have to do is press the power button and watch the screen power up. You'll see it says starting up and then it says Roland V accordion and then it says version colon whatever version you have. Now, if your version is 1.07, you only need to perform the first half of the update presented in this video. If your version is previous to 1.07, you need to perform the entire update presented in this video. If your version is 2.0, you do not need to do this update as you already have it installed in your accordion. Items you need for this update. A USB flash memory, the FR8X accordion itself, and a computer. It can be a Mac or a PC. The only requirement is that it has a USB connector. One cautionary point to be aware of, it's very important that your accordion does not power off during the middle of this update. We recommend that you just plug the accordion into the wall using AC power to ensure that it has adequate power supply throughout the entire update. Although the procedure for updating all FR8X accordions is the same, the files you need to download will depend on whether you have a standard or Dalapay FR8X model. The correct file for your accordion can be found on the corresponding product page on our Roland US website. For those of you with a standard FR8X piano model or FR8X button accordion, you will find your file on the FR8X product page. If you have a Dalapay FR8X, whether it is a piano or button model, you should download your files from this page, the Dalapay FR8X page. This model number has a D in it. For instance, the Dalapay version of the FR8X is our model number FR8XD. For the rest of this video, we will use the standard FR8X model as our reference. Keeping in mind, the procedure for the Dalapay models is exactly the same. Please be certain to download the correct files for your model of accordion. If you have questions concerning the correct file for your accordion, email or call us and we would be happy to help. Let's begin. The first thing you need to do is download the files required for this update. You can find those by visiting our website, www.rollinus.com, then locate the FR8X product page. From here, click on the Downloads tab, and then find version 2.0 and click on that. You'll find that the files you need to download are available on this page. Please download those files. When you open up that file that you've downloaded, you'll find two separate folders. One folder is FR8X Sys V200, and the other folder is FR8X Sub CPU V105. That second folder will be saved for those of you that are updating from a version previous to 1.07. So we'll worry about the second folder later. For now, just focus on that first folder, the FR8X Sys V200 folder. At this point, please connect your USB memory to your computer. As it comes up, if there are any files located on it, delete them all. You need to use a blank USB for this update. Next, open the FR8X Sys V200 folder and find that there are seven files located. Copy all these seven files into the USB memory drive. Do not place the entire folder into the USB, but only the seven individual files themselves. Once the files have been transferred over to the USB, remove the USB from your computer. This procedure will be different depending on if you use a Mac or a PC. If you're using a Mac, simply drag the icon of the USB into the trash, which is located on the dock of the Mac. If you're using a PC computer, find the safely remove hardware icon in the task tray and click that then remove the USB from the computer. Now that we have a USB loaded with all the files we need for this update, it's time to begin. First thing you need to do, turn the accordion off. It's a very important step. You probably had turned it on to check the version, so make sure it is off. Now, plug in the USB loaded with the new updating files into the USB host port on the FR8X located right here. Now that that's been plugged in, you need to hold the menu right button, which is located on this side of the accordion. Press and hold that. Now, press the power button. You don't need to hold it. Continue to hold the menu right button until you see the words updating mode flash across the screen. At that point, you can let go of the menu right button 
and let the accordion proceed with the updating on its own. This will take up to five minutes. When it's done, you'll see the word success on the screen. At that point, turn the accordion off and remove the USB flash drive. For those of you who are updating from version 1.07, you are done now. Your accordion is fully updated to version 2.0 and you're ready to go. So you can stop watching this video. <laughs> For those of you that were updating from a previous version to 1.07, please continue with me and we will finish your part of the procedure. The next step you need to do, plug your USB drive back into the computer, delete those seven files that we just put on it. Once you've deleted them, open up that second folder that we talked about, which is called FR8X sub CPU V105, and drag the seven files found in that folder onto your USB memory. Once those files have copied, remove the USB properly from your computer the way we discussed before, and we'll continue. Now that you have those new updating files on your USB, once again, make sure your accordion is off, Power it off, plug in the USB flash memory into the accordion. We're gonna do the same thing. Hold the menu right button. Continue holding it, press the power button once. You'll see lights come up, some words will start flashing. When the words updating mode flash on the screen of the accordion, you can let go of the menu right button. The accordion will continue to finish this part of the procedure on its own as well. Up to five minutes. Once it's done, it will say success on the screen. When you see the word success, turn off the accordion, unplug the USB flash memory, and now you are also ready to go. If you have any other questions, you can visit our website, rollingus.com, and click on product support or customer support. We're always here to help you. Enjoy the new update.